Mania for new technology is not a new thing. I caught the optimistic end of the atomic age. Back then, we were all mad for atomic, nuclear, radioactive stuff. You could find that dangerous crap all over the place. I saw a device in town that would bombard your feet with insane amounts of x-rays instead of just asking if your shoes fit. I had a watch with a radioactive radium dial. We all glowed in the dark, and we liked it. This was not rational behavior. The survivors eventually got over it. Currently, our society has a mania for adding internet functionality to everything. We call this grand illusion the Internet of Things. Salesmen are pushing the phrase, Internet enabled, just like they used to push the concept, steam driven, or atomic power. It's new, it's hot, you must have it. The Internet of Things is first and foremost a marketing campaign. It primarily exists to sell stuff. But that doesn't make it safe, unimportant, or irrelevant. Just like past aggressive marketing didn't make radiation safe or powerless. Hooking something up to the internet is a powerful change. The biggest problems associated with the current Internet of Things isn't the te te technology. The problem is the business environment. First, software products are not currently held responsible for their defects. If you buy a toilet and it blows up, the survivors can sue the manufacturer. But if you buy an internet-enabled smart toilet, and it blows up, the survivors get blamed. Our society has allowed software vendors to disclaim all responsibility for their product. Second, there are currently no meaningful protections for Internet of Things consumer privacy. Most Internet of Things devices are designed to steal your privacy and turn it into a revenue stream. If the manufacturer of a toilet takes pictures of you in the bathroom and sells the pictures, he goes to jail. If the manufacturer of the internet-enabled smart toilet sells the data of you using your bathroom, he gets a bonus on stock options. Third, it's almost impossible to control your Internet of Things devices. Most current Internet of Things vendors use technical and legal protections to restrict analysis, review, and modification of their product. If your conventional toilet acts up, you or your plumber does whatever it takes to fix it. But neither you nor your plumber is legally allowed to access the most important aspects of an internet-enabled smart toilet. You can't legally fix your internet-enabled toilet, and if you manage to fix it, you can't legally tell others what you did. Most people should regard Internet of Things devices as dangerous, expensive, and unreliable. The factors that cause this are primarily political, not technical.